The North Carolina coffee shop franchise is starting a nationwide movement. Biddy and Bo's Coffee Shop has led the charge in making sure people with disabilities have meaningful jobs and employment opportunities. Now they have 20 locations across several states and employ more than 400 people with disabilities. On this World Down Syndrome Day, siblings Biddy and Bo, as well as their parents, Amy and Ben, are here to tell us all about it. It's so nice meeting you all. Thank you so much for coming on. Hi. 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 <laughs> Amy, uh, I want to start with you. Take me back to the beginning. How did this all start? So Ben and I are the proud parents of four children. Our two youngest, Biddy and Bo, both have Down syndrome. And as the parents of children with disabilities, you start thinking about their future. And one of the things we were just um, astonished to learn is that 80% of people with disabilities in our country don't have jobs. And so we wanted to make a better world for our children and for others with disabilities. And we started this coffee shop seven years ago where we employ people with disabilities. And um, one day maybe Biddy and Bo will work there as well. I see what looks like a fashion shoot going on here. You guys are working <laughs> it, I love it. Uh, Bo, what did you think when your parents told you about the coffee shop? Uh, um, Were you excited? Yes, yes. <laughs> and Ben, what was your reaction when the business started taking off the way that it did? I mean, you guys are across the country now. It, it was just amazing. We had no idea. As Amy said, we really did it for Bo and Biddy so they'd have a place after high school to work and, and feel uh, like they belonged. And uh, we realized that there was something much greater at hand and, and, and much more um, that we could do. And uh, it's just been an unbelievable outpouring of support. Um, not just across the country, but across the world. I mean, there are there are estimated, I think, 200 million people across the globe that live with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And the statistics seems to stand that 80% of them don't have jobs in their own communities. And we really feel like that the coffee shop creates sort of a bridge between people without disabilities and with disabilities to experience each other and to see the life in each other and to see their common humanity. and. And it takes the fear and the discomfort out of uh, how to communicate away because everybody knows what to do when they go into a coffee shop. I love it. As you were saying, communicate, we were just showing some images of the handwritten messages that you have on your coffee cups, which I love. Biddy, I heard that you love helping out at the shop whenever you can. What's your favorite part about being at Biddy and Bose? I like the baking twinks. You like making the drinks? I heard you guys also both really love music. Are, are we creating a playlist here? Yes. yes. Bo, tell her what, what music. Um, Queen. Queen. Bo's Queen. Queen. I think we can all get behind that. Uh, Bo, you're, you're 18 now. How do you think this business has, has changed? How do you see your future? What, what do you think about it? Um, so I like the, my mom is so wonderful. Aw, thanks, Bo. I think we're all melting over here right now, Amy. <laughs> we're a lucky mom, that's for sure. Yeah. So, Amy, what do you hope people take away from your story? Well, you know, we can't open enough coffee shops to absorb the number of people that need jobs in our country, but we hope that with every guest that comes through our doors, that they see what's possible when you hire people with disabilities, you give them meaningful employment, um, that's the ripple effect. And we, we hope that every guest that comes in sees what's possible and goes back to their place of work and considers hiring someone with a disability. So Ben, what's next for Biddy and Bose? Well, we continue to open shops around the country. We have a wonderful uh, group of franchisees who are uh, getting their shops ready. I think we have four or five set to open over the next eight to 12 months. And we're constantly talking to people uh, about opening Biddy and Bo's Coffee, again, here in this country. But ultimately, I think we need to be across the world and, mm -hmm. and uh, normalize seeing people with disabilities, especially intellectual and developmental disabilities, in the community, in the world, and, and let it be the rule, not the exception. <laughs> Amy, Ben, Biddy, and Bo Wright, we so appreciate your time today. Love your story. Thank you. And I will be keeping an ear out for the Biddy and Bo playlist, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Great. Diane. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And you can find more feel-good stories at goodmorningamerica.com. Our big thanks to them. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.